Hello everyone, how are you doing? It's me again, Norul Arfianti. This time we will learn about common tangents in two circles. Let's learn together. The props that we will use to make this circle are thin styrofoam. We attach it using glue or use a double tip. Then we give a push pin to the center of the circle and we name this point. The center point is point P. To the left of point P is a letter indicating that it is a circle centered on P. Using a thin circle like this helps make it easier for students with visual impairments to know that this is a circle and centered on point P. Since we are going to study common tangents in two circles, of course we have to make another circles. Use different colors so that students with low vision can see the contrast in color differences. We name here the circle centered at point Q. We write here point Q. Then on the left, we give a braille letters that can be felt by blind students. Now we will connect the center point P with the center point Q. The circle is centered on P and the circle is centered on Q. We connect it using textured paper. The goal is for blind students to fill the line along this way. Here we give the push pin to the end. Here students are shown that this line connects point P and also point Q. Now this is the distance between the centers of the two circles. Now what is an internal common tangent? Two circles we can use textured paper again. So the tangent is a line that is tangent to the circle at one point. Now the common tangent is two circles means that the line must touch the circle centered on P and must also touch the circle centered on Q, but through a circle. It is called a common tangent in two circles. This is a tangent. Now, to find the length of the tangent, we have to know the point of tangency first. So, the tangent touches the circle. Only at one point, it alludes to circle P at one point here, which is more precisely the perpendicular. When the line is drawn to the center of the circle, we can mark it using textured paper, so that the common tangent in these two circles does not shift. Furthermore, from the point of tangency of the circle, from the point of contact of the common line in the circle, we connect it to the center of the circle. Mark here. 
Remember that the angle between the common tangents in the circle and the line connecting the corner points and the center of the circle are perpendicular to each other or 90 degrees. We can make sure by using a right angle triangle. We pin it again so it doesn't move anywhere. Likewise, for the circle centered on Q, we connect the tangent point of circle Q here with the center of the circle of magnitude 90 degrees. To make sure we use a right triangle line, we cut it if it's too long. Now we get that there is a line that connects the tangent point of the circle to the center of the circle. This line is called the radius of the circle centered at point P. We call the radius R1, we base it here R1. On the left side of R1, we give braille letters so that blind students can touch them. Then, in the circle centered on Q, the line that connects the point of contact of the circle to the center of the circle, we give the name R2. This is the radius. Yes, R2, where R2 here, we write on the left side, there are braille letters. Blind students are directed to the point of contact, then head to the center of the circle that we call R2. The name is on the right. Next, we will find out how long the common tangent is in these two circles. First, we cut this so it's not too long. Now, the method is by shifting the tangent line. We move it and check how far it is parallel until it meets the center of the circle Q. We slide it parallel, we mark it using a push pin. Then we give it a double tape. Now we note that the length of this line is the same as the length of the point that connects the tangent point to the circle centered at Q and the center of the circle. The length is the same. Because these are parallel lines, so when it is shifted, it also has the same length. Now we note that this is parallel. So this angle is also 90 degrees or forms a right angle with the slanted slide is PQ. Where PQ is the line that connects the center point of circle P and the center point of circle Q. Let's just cut it first so it won't bother us. Now, how much do we remember that this additional line was shifted parallel? So that this magnitude is R2. I write this is the magnitude of R2. So if we call this line, for example, we call it O. The point that meets this, we call it PQ. We can write PQ squares equals to PO squares plus OQ squares. 
square, OQ is the common tangent in circle, common tangents to the circle. Let's try to go through the questions. Before that, what we need to pay attention, we need to explain first. Yes, the formula is PQ squares equals PO squares plus OQ squares. PO squares equals R1 plus R2. So we can rewrite it. PQ squares equals square of R1 plus R2 plus OQ squares where PO squares equals R1 plus R2 so we can rewrite it PQ squares equals square of R1 plus R2 plus OQ squares OQ squares is the common tangent to the two circles because we find OQ, it means OQ equals square root of PQ squares minus square of R1 plus R2 R1 is the radius of the circle centered on P and R2 is the radius of the circle centered on Q PQ is the distance between the center of the circle P and the center of the circle Q Now we get try to apply it to the problem. For atau oki di sini ya. Nah, sehingga kita bisa mencari oki di sini sama dengan akar dari pq kuadrat dikurangi r1 ditambah r2 kuadrat. Di mana r1 adalah jari-jari lingkaran yang berpusat pada p dan r2 adalah jari-jari yang berpusat pada q. Jari-jari lingkaran yang berpusat pada Q dan PQ adalah jarak antara pusat lingkaran P dan pusat lingkaran yang berpusat pada Q. Ini kita dapat mencoba untuk mengaplikasikannya pada soal. Nah, contohnya bagaimana? Contoh. For example, we know that PQ or the distance from P to Q is 10 cm. Then we know that the circle P has a radius or R1 equals 5 cm, then R2 equals 3 cm. Itu sama dengan 5 cm. Kemudian R2-nya sama dengan 3 cm. Ini saya garis dulu ya, karena sepertinya tidak cukup. Ini, biar terlihat di kamera. Now we will find the equation of the tangent line. OQ equals square root of PQ squares minus square of R1 plus R2 equals square root of 10 squares minus squares of 5 plus 3 equals 6. So the length of OQ is 6 cm or the length of the tangent is 6 cm. Hopefully it is easily to understood. Thank you. Terima kasih, sampai jumpa pada video selanjutnya.